sun so we're both feeling it today um, I've not really shot much video I've done a few bits on the, the camera in the car and a few bits with the drone which has been really good to have that back and, and do that um, but I haven't really stopped and taken many pictures today um, I think I probably will start taking a few tonight because we've got an epic location um, for the fire uh, last night I did quite a few astrophotography um, shots the sky last night was incredible we had a lot of stars no light pollution which is really unusual uh, even out here uh, there's normally something so yeah it was uh, it was a good night but yeah this trip i think has been more about the traveling more about the the journey across the empty quarter uh, more than actually just sort of taking photographs and uh, trying to make a video uh, i must admit i haven't had the urge to do that this time um, it's been quite nice but i do kind of feel like the pressure is on that i do need to to maybe do that so I suppose that's why I'm doing this now. But yeah, it's a it's a good location. So we we drove past this location a little bit earlier, uh, and then we started looking at the map, and we decided to come back here because we think the journey we've got tomorrow is not actually going to take us that long. Um, so we don't want to, you know, wake up, pack all the stuff up, and then within sort of like an hour we finished the trail and then we're back on the road and driving back to Dubai so we thought we'd come back to this place because it was such a good spot uh, we've got a really good view uh, over this valley got the whole place to ourselves we've not actually seen anyone at all on this whole trip we've sort of seen one camel farmer um, and that's it so yeah it's um it's been a really good trip it's been good driving some challenging bits and some uh, you know easy enough bits um, but also like map reading trying to follow the GPS trail that we've got trying to stick to the trail find alternate routes when the trail we've got on the map is is either been completely washed away sort of like with the wind uh, or some bits are just too difficult for us um, you know we both got normal cars we're not you know diving June uh, June buggies or anything like that so yeah and we obviously can't take risks so you know we've gone over some challenging stuff but we haven't gone stupid and, and uh, we did have one point today where I got stuck on the edge of a, a dune and the car was at a pretty ridiculous angle. Um, and Joe actually videoed me coming off of it and he did say that the wheels left the ground a little bit, which definitely got my heart going. So yeah, it's it's been a really good trip. Uh, I'm ready to get back to have a nice shower and um, some creature comforts, but I do love this place. And we were talking about the weather and we were saying about whether we'll be able to come back again this year because it's, it's getting hot during the day now. You know, we're, we're talking like maybe 34, 35 degrees, um, which is what it was last time. But I think from now on, it's just gonna get hotter and it will be a bit unbearable. Like the evenings are lovely here uh, and the mornings as well. It's just sort of between, I'd say one and maybe three o'clock are the hottest. So yeah, it's been a good night. So we're gonna get the fire going now. We've got burgers tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. They're not camel burgers this time. So, um, yeah, we've got plenty of drinks left. So we're going to raid the fridge. Plenty of drinks, a few burgers, fire, talk shit. Should be good.
Let's do an update then. So, we're now on the road back from Lee where we're heading back towards uh, the border, back into Dubai. So, when we got back to the road, it suddenly dawned on us that Abu Dhabi had up upgraded the, uh, or changed the restrictions for your COVID tests when you're going to Abu Dhabi. So, we got tested obviously on Sunday morning at about 5 a.m. when we crossed the border into Abu Dhabi. And that test is kind of valid for about 48 hours. Now, we had to double check this. It was fairly difficult to find out the information. But according to the most recent information posted on Abu Dhabi Twitter, you then have to have a PCR test on your third day in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. So, that meant that this is our third day. And at 5 a.m. this morning, our DPI COVID test would be over 48 hours old so we had to install this app on our phones which tracks you everywhere you go and it shows the most recent test you had and the result so on that app it actually says that our result is now expired so I had a look around of where we could get a test because we did look at the idea of getting one back at the border where we came in but then Abu Dhabi don't like you having consecutive DPI tests. A DPI is where they prick your finger and they test your blood for abnormalities. If any come up, they then give you a PCR test. But obviously you have to wait 24 hours for those results. So the DPI test is nice and quick, but it's not like really, really accurate. Um, but it's enough to get across the border a couple of times. Um, so anyway, I looked up on, um, on the Google and Lewa Hospital does testing. So we decided that we would go there and try and get a test uh, so that technically we are being tested on the third day, which is what it says on the guidelines. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, that's meeting the requirements because uh, we don't want to get fined. Because the problem is the app tracks you all the time. You can't turn the location tracking off on the app at all. Um, so they know exactly where you are and when you had your last test because it's linked to your Emirates ID. Um, so it's, it's all linked, you can't escape it. Um, so yeah, we've, we've had our test and we're now on the way back. But it was a little bit of stress sort of trying to figure out where we could go. And the times on Google said that the testing centre stopped at 12 and it was like 11. So we, we had literally 10 minutes to spare to get there. But to be fair to the hospital in Leeward, when we got there, we were straight in, they took our details. It was only 89 dirhams. Uh, got tested and we're straight out within about five minutes which was really nice you know a couple of times in um, uh, in Dubai we've been you know th there easily for like an hour or something like that um, so yeah that was nice and easy but yeah I mean it's been a really good trip um, I'm ready to be heading back I think three days Joe and I were just talking on the radio three days is enough to spend in Lima um, I mean it is hot during the day there's only so much you can do in the day apart from drive so like don't get me wrong it's fun it's brilliant but the evenings and the mornings are the most spectacular bits uh, they're just brilliant so so yeah um, it's been a great trip um, Joe did not get stuck at all I got stuck twice both because both times because I was being cautious <laughs> No, it really does not look safe at all. <laughs> Any slight bend that he's going over. <laughs> <laughs>